they were tropes. So it was kind of like the progenitor of a lot of these like shonen sort of like amazing action-based shows. Like you know you have the the hero who fights the villain and the villain eventually becomes a friend or an anti-villain kind of character and uh, there's just something so timeless about the story. And it just kind of resonates with a lot of anime fans, especially ones growing up watching, like, you know, the later Shonen shows, and they go back and see Z, and they're like, oh, wow, yeah, this is actually, like, this is where it all kind of came from, you know? Yeah, the character of Goku is one of the first of his type that you see. There is now the Goku type in Shonen action heroes. Yeah, yeah I think it's the characters. I honestly think that those characters are so, even down to like the smallest characters, they're three-dimensional, they're fleshed out, they're whole. Like I feel like you could take any character in those universes and create them, their, give them their own show, and it would be interesting and you'd want to watch it because those characters are all so different and creative. Um, so yeah, I think that, that the main thing is it's characters that people can relate to and actually want to be around and want to watch. Yeah, the thing that I've noticed that's common with, with fans, every con I go to and everything, is how much it's been, they've been inspired by watching Dragon Ball. It's affected their career choice, or it's helped them get through a, a tough time in their lives, or something like that. But it really uh, reaches beyond just entertainment, and it touches you on a personal, emotional level. That's, that's why something resonates, and that's why I think it's, it's here to stay. All of that, absolutely. <laughs> Everything the two of them just said, I, I, I couldn't add anything better or more to that. Well, I guess I couldn't either. Well, <laughs> maybe you could. You're a better man than I. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give another hand.